Peter I describe as, as part puppy and part philosopher and he he's neurotic but he's not cynical and you know that was a really hard role to cast and when we saw Matthew Reese it was such a relief to see that there was you know a guy who could play both those aspects. I think Alec really lucked out when he found Matthew and, and it was hard for Alec to find someone to play Peter because as, as you know we've observed that there's parts of the film that are autobiographical Peter is the character that's closest to Alec that's difficult to find somebody who you I'm not saying he's playing Alec per se but he's playing aspects of Alec and so obviously that's very close to Alec's heart and very close to his brain in terms of how he wants that person to to, to look and come across and that's a hard thing for an, an actor to do and Matthew was very very patient and very um, understanding about that oh Peter I feel so bad Shh, come on drink this no, I mean about you not getting to meet Robbie Williams because of me. <laughs> it's okay. Matthew Reese, who plays Peter, is awful. <laughs> it's been lovely to get to know him. I, I had so much fun working with Matthew. <laughs> he, if, if, if anyone watching is looking to cast anyone of any age group, size, <laughs> I, I, man, woman, Matthew Reese can do the role. <laughs> I know he could. I think he's a, he's a genius, brilliant actor, and, and he's just so clever and quick and witty and smart, and he's perfect. Yeah, he's, um, he's an aspirational screenwriter who hasn't had a relationship in years and basically has these relationships in his head and, and lives out purely in his own imagination. He can't be bitter, you know, because he's someone who's very, very disappointed and disillusioned with love and life, but he makes it in such a charming way, which is fantastic, the way he plays with that, I think. I mean, he's a great actor and a great, great person as well, great guy to work with. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, actually. And the first time you see me, I haven't got a stitch on me. Uh, and I'm claiming myself the original Queen of England. I'm just being realistic. If you're realistic, then I'm the Queen of England. Hey! I'm the Queen of England. Hello, Your Majesty. It's not big enough. No, you it doesn't have to be everywhere, but it's gotta be. I'm from Chile originally, but I've lived in London. I lived here as a kid for four years, and now I've been on and off the last six years here. So I think I, I kind of, you know, understand this city. I think quite well. There was a knowledge of someone who'd been here, so I wasn't surprised when Alec told me he lived here for ten years because he depicts something very, you know, very real and brings that life to it. Santiago is a dream to work with. He's he's kind. He's soulful. His spirit shines out of his eyes, and he's a really good guy. He's, he's respectful, considerate, such a good human being. Um, his work ethic is incredible, and he's fun to do scenes with. And he has no ego. His ego is, is he leaves it, he checks his ego at the door every day he comes into work. Hello, querido. Dinner, nine o'clock, no boo. Don't be late, I confess and on my own. No problem. Gracias, cariño. He knows what's missing in his life. I think he's you know, a very stable person with his feet on the ground that's just missing something. And Jax is everything he wants, you know. He, he knows that she is the answer to, you know, I mean, she's, she's gonna be, you know, make him happy, make him a happy man, so. But, you know, he's perfect casting as, uh, as Santiago because of his background and his Latin American uh, upbringing and the way he looks and the way he behaves, he's, you know, he's, Quietly spoken, but he's got ardor and passion, and he, and that's that's what um, Paolo's around as well about as well. So, yeah, it's been working out. I didn't see their tango, but I hear it's also awesome. So I'm sure he won't disapp disappoint on any accounts. And the tango, oh my, that was that was a humongous deal. We started learning straight off because we had like a three-week rehearsal period. This was May, it seems ages ago. And uh, we started tango straight straight off with uh, with Brittany. We had a lot of tango time together as well, you know. So so we got kind of to know each other even more. Basically, I learned just with the two of us were in over 40 hours of tango lessons. 
and I, I loved it. I loved it. I'm kind of thinking about, you know, going, getting more into tango, really. And it's such a sensuous, you know, dance in every way. It's sexy. It was. I want to continue. It was really great exercise. I would like to continue tangoing, and 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 it was a great workout that my body misses. <laughs> Yeah. I just did every single one. Wait, morning. and now I've lied. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And now I've lied. <laughs> <laughs> that. Tallulah is um I kind of describe her kind of as the eccentric of the group. Ten thousand pounds. I mean she really does kind of live in her own world. She comes from money, but you can tell she's rebelled against that all of her whole life. And, um, you know, again, the, I, I knew girls like that, you know, who, who really kind of rebelled against their privileged upbringing. And um, Tallulah is so busy rebelling against that upbringing that perhaps she's also kind of denying parts of who she is. So she's kind of in complete contrast to her mother. Uh, Felicity is played by Stephanie Beecham, uh, who, who completely uh, absorbs the whole lifestyle of glitz and glamour and money and stuff, whereas Tallulah kind of shuns away from it. Uh, she's got an interesting take on life and an interesting relationship with her mother, who's a complete um, uh, head case, really. Darling, you could have worn something nicer. You could have worn something for a stop. Well, when people ask me who's in the film, they, who's in this film that you're shooting in London called Love and Other Disasters? I say Catherine Tate. They say, oh my gosh, I say Catherine Tate's playing my best friend. And it's so thrilling to see this pop cultural awareness of who Catherine Tate is. What was remarkable about her was she took this role that could just be played as caricature, and she didn't play it as caricature. She played it as real. These would be the friends that I would call if I was blue in London, and I'd say, can we have lunch? Because I knew that I'd get swept up in in their very unique worldview. Lucky fucking geese. Well, Catherine is a genius, what can I say? But we, I guess we knew that already. You know, she, she's obviously, her, her characters and her shows are, are brilliant. But, you know, Catherine does have another, completely another career as an actress. She's, she's a fantastic, serious actress as well. And I think the part of Tallulah allows her to put both of those things together. You know, her fantastic comedy talents and her qualities as a, as a serious actress because she's very, very funny. and She's the most genius um, girl that ad-libs in the world. <laughs> Catherine Tate on set is a, is a great morale booster because um, she certainly kept us going. She's definitely doing it and bringing it bringing it in the scenes and and she's just I mean she's a great person and it's it's fantastic to watch her work and what she's done with it.